my god, look at them all taking off here. What do we got, Rusa? Oh, nice buck, nice buck, nice buck. Back off, kangaroo, back off. Oh, smoked him! Perfect shot, perfect shot. We literally got Rusa surrounding us here. Oh my god. All right, that'll take her down. I don't know where the big mythical went unless... No, still, there he is, I see him. All right, here we go. It's gonna be a gold 117 and pulled off a liver, lung, and stomach shot at 150 yards. Again, I really like this fur color on the Rusa. Great, great looking buck. And here's our big mythical Rue. So our first shot got him far back with the AR-223. Second shot got him on the run, 250 yards and Oh, such a close shot. Literally almost got him the liver and lung at 250 yards, but we got him just a touch too far back. But nonetheless, it did take him down pretty quickly. Ooh, we got us on another really nice Rusa out there. It's a uh, level four and he's 150 yards out from us. And wow, they are tough. We just smoked him with the AR-308, and he took off. All right, it's going to be a 110, not even quite as big as the last one, but did pull off a nice left lung shot there and 110 gold. Ooh, there's a couple really nice soundbar deer down over there. Look at that. There's two beautiful bucks. I can't actually tell which one is bigger. So there's one right there, and then two just to the west side right over there yeah i feel like our best bet would be take down the first one and try and double up on the second two from right here i'm getting them i'm getting them just gotta wait for that right angle I am not getting him. The most important thing is we definitely did get the biggest one and we got a follow up as well. So there we go, two nice bucks down. This one wasn't near as big as the other one, but it's still a good size one. Wow, 135 gold and 166 is diamond. It's actually a dusky dark gradient. That's a really cool looking sambar deer there. All right, here we go. Let's see how big this thing's gonna be. It's gonna be a 135 as well. So they score pretty much exactly the same. This one we got a double lung shot and it's another dusky gradient. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good size for a soundbar. They don't get a whole lot bigger, but I love the fur on this. That looks incredible. Ooh, we got a massive feral hog out there. It's actually a dark colored one as well. And I'd like to try and take him down with the 22 250 because you can in fact take down an animal up to level four with the 22 250. So we're gonna try for a shot on him. Well, that was about as perfect as you could possibly get right there, so that should be taking him down. Yes, it is. Down to 50%, 25%. He's actually not going to be going too far. And here he is down right over here. Let's see how the 22250 did. It was a 160 yard shot and it hit pretty much center, a little bit left lung, which was absolutely perfect. 93.6, so he wasn't big enough to be goal, but... I'm surprised he wasn't actually, considering he was in fact a level 4. I figured that would be like a guaranteed gold. And he's got some good tusks as well. Eh, maybe not quite as big as he needs. But nonetheless, it took him down. It's a black feral pig with the 22-250. Oof, this is really cool. We just climbed all the way to the top of this lookout tower here, and we spotted a bunch of rusa down there. In fact, there's a really nice one bedded out there 400 yards away from us. Take a look at where we're at right now and look at this view. We can see for miles out here and this is just such an incredible location. I love being able to spot and stalk and kind of go for long distance shots from super high up. In fact, we're not even all the way to the top. We can get even higher if we really wanted to, but then you can see all the way over here as well. Look at this. It is wide open. Oh, what do we got over there? We got a fallow. Uh, it's not that big. Probably a three. We may go for a shot at him with the 22250 just because I don't want to spook 
these Rusa that are over here. 400 yards. Yeah, there's no way that they would spook if we took a shot on this fallow. So, plus we got to figure out where it actually does shoot from this, this uh, high up here. So, 300 yards, but we're going to have a ton of... Uh, what am I trying to say? We're going to have a ton of rays. So we got to hold low. Uh, I'm going to not... I'm going to use the AR here, actually. Perfect. 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 Now that shot was 330 and we held right for the heart. And I guarantee we probably got double lung spine shot. Oh, here we go. This is actually going to work out really good. So our Rusa just turned broadside. He's slightly quartering at us a little bit, but he's 413 yards. I think we'll actually throw on the Argus scope here. Just because it's quite a ways out there. But I'm imagining we'll hold for center lung. And it should be good. I don't necessarily love that angle, but it's certainly doable. Holy, is that a far shot. I really wish we could get up here and get a better viewpoint, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, that could work there. Uh... Yeah, that just, just might work. All right, where is he? There he is right there. Is that going to work? It might. It did not work. <laughs> we hit the two by six right in front of us here. All right. Holy, there are animals taking off everywhere here. We got fox down there. We got wild hogs down there. Holy. All right. Let's get on this and take a nice shot. Smoked him. We got him, guys. Beautiful shot. We held for center lung for 320, and he was actually 400 plus out there. And we made a beautiful, beautiful shot. All right, what do we got over here? We got a fox calling, and we have a couple of hogs calling down there as well. Where are you at? All right, so the fallow, I believe, should be here. And then Arusa is over here. There's also some wild hogs calling down here. Oh, there they are. Oh, no way. It's a level three black spotted hog. Okay. 250 yards out. I'm thinking we'll zero for 160 and hold for center lung. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my god, we had him. We had him. And he got in that brush on me, and I lost him. Ooh, what do we got down here? Decent axis. Real decent. Let's go for the shot at about 250 out here. Take the 22-250. That shot looked good. I don't want to spot him because then we'll lose sight of... Wait, we got a fox calling down there now too? Oh, there it is. Let's go for a shot on him. Shot dropped a little bit, a little bit low. Holy, that is a tough fox. But that should take him down. Our axis, as you can see, is piled up right there. Wow, there are so many animals from up here. I mean, you can basically cover this whole entire valley from this one lookout tower. We're right in this lookout tower right here, and you can see all the hunting pressure from over here. 
And then you can see right here is where the Rusa is. Oh, real decent sandbar. Real decent one. Maybe our biggest one yet. Coming right towards us here. Imagine if we could take a shot from here with the compound bow. Talking like 150 yards out. All right, there he is right there. He's calming down and he's got a bed right there. 180 yards out from us. We don't have the compound bow. We have the recurve bow, which could take him down, but he's a little bit out of range for the recurve. So let's go for a shot on him. And I really hope we don't hit this wood again. Come on, move your head. First shot might not have been good enough, but the follow-up shot definitely was. And he is down. All right, we got a lot of stuff to try and remember here. First off, we got our big rooster down there. Then we got our axis deer right there. The fox probably piled up there. And I would say maybe one or two feral hogs up in there, as well as the sandbar deer that we just got right there. Well, first off, we're gonna go way down here and grab that rooster because he was pretty nice. All right, here's our first big rooster that we took at 400 yards, 413 yards, and it's a 122 light brown. Take a look at that shot there. Almost pulled off a double lung heart shot. Look at the elevation of that bullet there. Wow. You can just see kind of the angle that it was at because we were so high up shooting downwards. I believe we were holding for like right here for 320. But since it was 400 and we were so high up in the air, we hit almost exactly in the center of the lung. Right where we wanted to. So beautiful. And a great looking sandbar. And another great looking sa And another. And another great looking Rusa buck. All right, here's our nice sandbar buck as well. And that ended up being a not such a good shot. Wait a second. We hit this one twice. Both shots did not connect. First shot, he was bedded. I did not want to hit his head, so I held a little more to the right. And we got intestine. Second shot, got him on the run. As he stood up and got him a little bit too high, did not go through and get a vital hit. But still pretty cool. Real nice sandbar. Whoa, jumped up another fallow right there. And we'll smoke him. I wanted to check the hunting pressure just to make sure we didn't lose any zones here. But it looked pretty good. And that's actually a cool looking fallow. It's a chocolate. 172. Take a look at that. Wow. Imagine how cool that would look if it was a, I don't know, like a 220 plus. I would for surely get it mounted. For surely. There's our shot. 228 yard. Perfect shot. Perfect, perfect lung shot there. And our shot was 270. We dropped just low. Okay, that makes sense. And then our next shot on the run, right behind him. Right behind him. So here's our fallow. That shot was a 339 yard shot and we got perfect double lung. 169, that's a dark. Lastly, we want to go over here and try and see if we got any of those wild hawks. Because I feel like we really should have gotten at least one. Well, look what we just jumped up, you guys. That's our hawk. That is our hawk. And our hawk is smoked. 
We got a bunch more hogs that just jumped up right here as well, but I do believe that's the only one that we really wanted to get. And it might even be the only male. Yep, those are all female. Look at that. Cool, we finally got them. Finally. Oh, here we go. We got a fox out there at about 280. This is going to be quite the shot. And I just saw something in the background. What was that? I think it's either a Rusa or a Red Deer. It's something decent. Oh, it's a huge hog deer. Huge hog deer. Well, we'll have to hold off on him for now. But we're talking 280 yards. I bet we dropped a little bit lower than what I wanted and probably got intestine. But then again, that may have been a single lung. What do we got over there now? Red deer? Yeah, red deer. For some reason, I only have tiny stags on my map. It's kind of odd, but I don't know. That's just the way it is right now. Anyways, that fox did go down. We'll go over there for a little bit and go check that out. But first... We're gonna look at this super cool spotted male feral hog. Pink spots. Actually, actually it's a black spots and we did pull off a nice long shot there, 180 yards out, but these things are pretty uncommon. So if you do see a decent boar, you really wanna try and get them because they're pretty cool looking. I'm curious about that. Ooh, the male hog deer track is right here. So we wanna make sure we, there he goes. Should have been a good hit, but I think we got intestine. Nonetheless, here's our fox and our shot. Did not get any drop, you guys. It literally hit right exactly where we wanted it to. Well, maybe it did get like three inches of drop, but it should have dropped a lot more than that. At least I was anticipating it on dropping more than that. But it didn't. Right in the spine. That's actually quite impressive. I know we got the hog deer, but did we get a vital shot is the next question. That I don't know. But overall, it did take it down and it's laying right here. 92, still not that big, but decent, real decent. Maybe like our second biggest one. And just couldn't quite get up in there and get it. And just couldn't quite get in. And just couldn't quite get up in there and get a vital hit. But did take him down, and it's a really cool looking hog deer as well. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.